Hello, I Dr. Vijay Chandra Jadala welcomes you to today's session related to the AWS Cloud. As part of Introduction to Cloud Computing, I am going to discuss related to the AWS Cloud where I am going to create an instance EC, in EC2 and related to Windows operating system and I am going to create a volume and attach the volume to the EC2 instance and then I am going to mount the particular volume. So here I am going to discuss a step by step and a practical session related to this particular experiment that is creation of EBS volume, attachment of EBS volume to the EC2 instance and mount the EBS volume. That means what is an EBS? EBS is elastic block storage. The elastic block storage what it is going to do? Actually for the hard disk if we didn't have a sufficient space we are going to keep some external hard disk or we are going to keep an SSD. So here in the same way for the volume if the volume provided with the instance is not sufficient we can add any number of volumes through uh, elastic block storage is uh, EBS will comes under the storage option. Let us start the practical session where I am going to create an instance that is using the EC2. So new instance I am going to create. So launch instance. The main the name I am going to give is my VC 3142 my VC 3142 is the name of the instance and the type is Windows operating system and here the key pair is create key, new key pair create new key pair key pair name I have to give VC create new key pair so vc.pem is created then come down here allow all HTTPS traffic HTTPS traffic from the internet and the storage is given here is 30 GB then create on launch instance now the instance is launching with the storage capacity of 30 GB. So this is by default it will create a storage device. And then now go to the instances. So my VC 3142. Here we have to remember about the Availability zone, availability zone is US East 1B and this ES, US East 1B availability zone should be same when we are creating with the uh, EC, uh, EB, EBS volume. So now let go to the actions, select this, actions. Go here, yeah, this is running one. So, here this go to the connect, then RDB, then select the get password then upload private key then vc.pm open then come down 
then say decrypt password then come down now we have to launch to the windows before going to launch to windows i want to create an ebs ebs and then i will go to the launch window so here from instances come down elastic block storage volumes click on volumes so default 30 gb is there leave it i have to create by you my own create volume and here the gb which i want to give is 20 gb and uh, here one a is there what i need is one b availability zone us east one b this is a major point which you have to remember if you given 1A, there won't be any use for that particular volume. So the previous volume which is of, of EC2 is of uh, US uh, East 1B. So here also availability zone I am keeping as East, US East 1B. Then come down. Then tag key I will give VC. Here option VC volume. Then I am saying create volume. So here with 20 GB a volume is created. Okay, it's saying creating here I will make it as VC volume. Say save. So the VC volume is of 20 GB and it is ok created now what I have to do is I have to attach this particular volume to the EC2 instance so here our in only one instance is there let us check whether it is attached or not just it's creating just wait for a while it should come as in use let me refresh it now it is available okay this available i have to check checkbox this vc volume which is in available should convert into in use okay go to actions attach volume click on attach volume now the instance name already which is running device name whatever it may be windows one device name you take and say attach volume so now the volume is successfully attached so these two are in use that means one is of default 30 gb that is c drive and another is VC volume that is about the D drive. This is also in use. Now the, here the EC and the instances work is completed. So the instance this one is running. And this is of key name is VC which we created. So here it is matched with the key known as the VC. Okay. Now go to connect then rdb then come here then now we have to use the remote desktop remot remote desktop connection so here public dns should be here so i am removing this all copy this public dns and get password then upload primary key vcpm then decrypt password then here the password is also there now copy this dns and paste here in this particular computer name then say connect 
then it is asking a username administrator then comes to a password you have to copy this password and now this password should be pasted here then say ok now the firewall is stopping it say yes now you can observe that the AWS Windows operating system is creating so it is doing the personalized settings so what we did till now is the we created a EC2 instance we created a EBS uh, block storage whereas if your VC2 instance the 30 GB is the by default uh, C drive is created and 20 GB D drive we created and now we are going to uh, we attach the E drive to the D drive let us check here here it will show only the one drive since we mount we we created we attached we didn't mounted the drive now we have to the step remain for us is to now the step remain for us is to the mount so here in the pc pc this pc only one drive that is uh, 30 GB among that 13.9 GB is used now here I need one more drive for that what I, would, what I will do is I will go to the server manager I will go to the server manager in this server manager all servers in all servers we will get the drives so here this server is in progress let wait for it few seconds yeah so this is activated and it is in progress what we need is the another server so go to the task let us check for other servers and data yeah files and storages now the disks the available disks we we should get two disks are coming one is of 30 gb you can observe here 30 gb which is of the default and another thing is the 20 gb which we created that is the d drive since the 30 gb is online 20 gb is offline make it online bring online click on it then say yes so both are in online okay so let's check it with the pc but it won't come since we created them online but not in the uh, created we didn't mounted it so now the next step is to mount so again select this right click new volume now it is becoming a volume so next step next 
then this one this is the volume then say next okay so here the capacity is 20 gb then volume size is 20 gb okay letter is d if you want to change you can change any letter that name of drive i am making it as s letter so it is the s drive then next this is as it is new volume volume label is new volume next then create then it will take two two three two three seconds to create this where it will gather the information creates a new partition formats the volume and access add the access path and uh, then say create now let us check with the pc double click here so see here new volume which is of s drive so 19.9 gb free of 19.9 gb so right now i created the ebs that means extra block a block storage and elastic block storage and that i created it as a volume so by this i successfully completed my experiment Hope you all understood well.